Is your house looking a little bare? Are you looking for the next breathtaking artwork to hang to your fridge door? The next mind-blowing piece that will truly give your home its unique character and make your heart burst with love every time you look at it? Don't worry, I've got you. Today we're gonna get our little ones to make loads of beautiful arts and crafts, all celebration themed. So get your glitter ready, let's get started! Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my preschool at home series where every week I focus on a theme and I show you loads of fun activities to do with your toddler to learn through play. And this week in the UK we had so much going on, you know, we had bonfire nights on the 5th of November, we had Remembrance Day on the 11th and we also had Diwali which is the Hindu celebration of light and because there's such a big community of Hindus here who celebrate Diwali, it's kind of a big celebration over here and you know, since I really want to teach my toddler about different faiths and cultures and you know, I really want her to understand what's happening in our community and be able to understand all of these different celebrations that's definitely something that i also wanted to discuss with her and tell her about so all of the activities i'm going to show you today are celebration related and they can actually really work for any sort of celebration you know christmas new years diwali you know <laughs> bonfire night you name it so a lot of it is around fireworks making little keepsakes, making candle holders, little gifts that you can give to people, um, you know, during those celebrations. So I hope you enjoyed today's content and without further ado, let's get started. For the first activity, we are going to paint some fireworks and I have two versions of this, one for older toddlers and one for younger babies. For this activity, you will need blue card paper, um, I picked different shades here, a plastic fork, a pair of scissors, a toilet roll, um, different colors of paint, and some shaker glitters. Start by drawing some lines on the toilet roll and then ask your toddler to cut over the lines, like so. And then if you spread it out like this, you end up having the perfect shape to make a firework shape. So put the paint in rather big containers so that the toilet roll can actually go inside and pick up the paint. And then let your baby or your toddler have fun. This is my 16 month old and he really enjoyed doing it. As you can see, it's really easy for him to grab onto the toilet roll and then pick up the paint and then make those shapes on the paper. It's much easier than a paintbrush or anything else. So he's been really enjoying that activity. <laughs> As for my toddler, I got her to use the plastic fork to make those kind of firework shapes by splashing slash gently brushing um, the paper with the paint. And as you can see, it works pretty well to make those kind of fireworks explosions in the air. <laughs> and of course, it wouldn't be fireworks without glitter. So once we were done painting, we ended up adding some glitters on top of the paint while the paint is still wet so that the glitter sticks to the paint. And also, you know, with both Diwali and the bonfire, there's been so many fireworks around our house and my toddler's actually been a little bit afraid of the noise that they make. And so I think that doing this activity really helped her with, you know, not being afraid of the noise of fireworks anymore. The next activity is a Diwali inspired activity and these are footprints um, to represent Lakshmi's footprints because this is a time when people welcome the goddess into their homes. Um, so because we've been talking about Diwali, I thought it would be a fun way to talk about it. So for this activity, you'll need different colors of card papers, different colors of marker. As you can see, my toddler has decided she's going to use pink, <laughs> different colors of markers, different colors of paint glitter paint and containers for the paint. Of course, if you don't have laminate flooring like we do, um, you should definitely get something to protect your carpet or maybe do this in the kitchen. Um, I will link somewhere down below something that I have found on Amazon that my friend is using. She has a carpet in her home and that really helps keep her carpet clean when she's doing those arts and crafts with her toddler. 
So basically you want to paint the bottom of your child's feet or in this case my toddler has been doing it herself and then just make a footprint directly onto the card paper. And because we really enjoyed it, we did her two feet, two different colors. And she really enjoyed that activity, it was a lot of fun. She kind of painted her whole leg. And I always really like to have hand and footprints of my children at different ages, but I rarely take the time to do it. So this was a nice opportunity to do so. So I made sure that my youngest one also took part in this activity because I really wanted his little footprints. So I then used a marker to make the contour of the feet and of course I did it for my baby because he's too young to do that but I got my toddler to do her own and you know I always find inspiration for these activities on Instagram or Pinterest and I'm always surprised by how perfect some of these you know toddler crafts look and in my house I like to get my toddler to do most of the things even if it doesn't look perfect you know because I think it looks amazing and it's amazing that she's able to do these things so I don't mind if, if it is, doesn't look perfectly polished and it, if it's not you know Instagram worthy because to be honest it's amazing she's three years old and she's doing all those stuff and I'm just so proud of her and I think her work is just perfect the way it is so once we did that, we kind of decorated the bottom of the feet um, just to make it a little bit more fun. And then, of course, we put glitter glue on top. <laughs> it's got, you know, it's for a celebration. It's got to be sparkly. So, and this is something that my baby could do and enjoy doing very, very much. So my toddler's putting pink glitter paint all over her footprints and she really loved that glitter paint and uh, somebody's getting very artistic over there <laughs> thinking outside of the box outside of the paper even <laughs> And here are the final products. I'm so proud of my babies for making them and I'm definitely going to make sure I write down the date at the back and keep them safe somewhere. Next, we're going to make beautiful little salted dough candle holders. And these are great festive decorations or they can be used as little gifts. And for this, you will need two cups of salt, one cup of water, two cups of flour, I've got my measuring cup right there and a mixing bowl and then of course some tea light candles of course some glitter paint some sequins a baking tray non-stick baking paper and then you can use some ceramic baking beans like this or if you don't have any you can also use rice it will work just as fine with rice so here my toddler's already been mixing water, salt, and she's adding two cups of flour. And then of course, mixing it all together with her fingers was very much part of the fun. <laughs> I think it's a really nice sensory experience, you know, she really kept touching the texture and kind of experimenting with it. And I let her take her time and really, you know, enjoy this little experiment that she was doing <laughs> and you should get to a nice dough like this if it's a bit too sticky you can add a little bit of flour and it should be just fine and it tastes absolutely awful but it is safe to eat so it's safe to use with very young children <laughs> okay so now I'm giving a small bowl of dough to my toddler and I give her a, a tea light candle um, to use to measure the space that she's going to make for the candle in the middle of her candle holder. So as you can see she's going to just stick it in the middle and push down to make the shape of the candle. And make sure you, you, know, you push it deep enough 
and then I would advise leaving the candle in while you're decorating it with sequin because the dough tends to kind of like puff back up if you don't so I found that it's just easier to leave the candle in while we're working on the decoration and as you can see my toddler is just sticking some sequins all around it making it all nice and we made these because um, it was Diwali this week and Diwali is the festival of light. But um, these make such lovely little keepsakes. They make lovely little Christmas decorations if you want. Um, they can make lovely little gifts for friends or family members. So, you know, we love making these. I think these are such a great idea and such a nice little activity to do with your kids. So once again, I made this handprint into a candle holder. Um, as you can see, I made sure the hole was the right size for, size for the tea light. And then just flattened it a little bit with my finger. And then this isn't mandatory at all, but I found that the salt dough doesn't really keep its shape very well and it tends to rise back up. And so I wanted to make sure that the hole for the candle remained deep enough. And so I um, used the tea light candle to draw the shape of the candle and then cut it out of the baking paper. And then I put it at the bottom of the hole and I used some of the ceramic bins or you can use some rice to kind of hold it down, um, use the weight of the, of the baking bins to hold it down so that it keeps its shape and doesn't rise back up. And then once this is done, you can either leave it to air dry or you can put it in the oven at the lowest possible temperature. I put mine on slow cook and then leave it for two to three hours until it's completely dry and hard. And once they're dry, you can paint over them with glitter paint so that the sequins don't fall off. It will really secure them into place. And there you go, you've got beautiful little candle holders. And if you enjoy the content so far, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell. You know, last week in our preschool at home series, we've done phonics game for toddlers, which are amazing to help your toddler learn letters and start learning to blend. We've also done numbers, shapes. So all of these videos will be linked in the description box below. The next activity is a silent firecracker craft. And for this activity, you will need some blue card paper, a black marker, a gold pipe cleaner, and then I used felt paper uh, just to make it more interesting and different textures, but you can use card paper as well. And I used red and yellow, some glitter shakers, and some glue. So first we practiced just on regular paper because I really wanted my toddler to be the one drawing the shapes. So I'm making her do a triangle and to help her out, I made those three little dots that you can see just to help her draw the triangle shape because she was struggling a little bit otherwise. So it was a great way to practice our shape and practice tracing the shapes. And then once she was done tracing it, she had to cut it. And my toddler loves any activity that involves using her little scissors. <laughs> so she really enjoyed that. And then with the red felt paper, we did a red rectangle using the same method of linking the dots. And once we had both our rectangle and our triangle all cut out, we put a bit of glue at the back so that we could stick it onto our card paper. And here I helped my daughter out a little bit by making those glue marks that you can see so that she can stick the gold pipeline over it. And as you can see, we cut it into smaller pieces so that we can make the back of the silent firecracker. 
I think my toddler really enjoyed this activity because we use so many different textures and she gets to play with all these different materials, which is something that she really enjoys. And then once again, using glue, we uh, use the glitters to make those kind of fireworks all around it. And then I recommend waiting for the glue to dry a little bit before you shake off the excess. And this is the final product. And the last activity that we did this week was again for Diwali and it was a Rangoli um, coloring. So I will link this template which is free in the description box below. And so we just used um, the template, crayons and glitter stickers. And my toddler started coloring this on her own. She really loves coloring, but after a while I started helping her as well and we were both coloring together on the same paper. And this was such a lovely activity to do together. I think she really enjoyed um, doing this together and sharing this activity. I always try to um, do art and craft at the same time as she is doing uh, because I like you know, I like drawing myself and whenever I'm drawing or painting or doing anything, I always enjoy when somebody is doing art as well next to me. And so I find that this is something really nice that we can share. So anyway, we did some of this coloring together and then she proceeded to put some of these glitter stickers everywhere. And then she wrote her name by herself at the bottom and I'm so proud of her. She's getting so good with letter tracing. We're dropping the dotted lines now and she's really improving her letter tracing. So here's the final product. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video.